Hi pre-calc, we're back. Um, this is still section 4.4. Okay, this is reference angles. We're now going to find the sine of 750, the cosine of 750, and the tangent of 750. Okay, so without a calculator, using our triangles and our unit circle, we're going to now evaluate this without a calculator. So let's first draw 750. So here we go. This is going to be 180, 360, 360, and 180. Uh, so 540. We're not even close yet, right? We're going to add 180 again to this. 720 is here. And then this is going to be an additional 30. This is going to be an additional 30 on the 720. There we are. Okay, so that's 720. Okay, so we wrapped around one full time. We wrapped around one full time. Then a second time that got us to the 720 and then we went 30 more to get to the 750. So that's where the formula for the reference angles falls apart because if we take the 750 and we subtract one revolution we get 390. We get 390, and 390 um, is not a reference angle, right? It's not a reference angle. So that means we then take 390, and we unwrap it again. And that's where we get 30 degrees. So even though I gave you those formulas, I told you those formulas were the generic idea of how to find the uh, reference angle. They were like the templates. But if you're rotating clockwise as a negative, the formulas do not work. If you wrap more than once, the formulas do not work. So you have to sort of think for yourself. It has to be an acute angle in that quadrant. So the only way to make an acute angle in the quadrant is to figure out where you stop and the magnitude from that terminal side to the horizontal. That's it. So if you're holding the the formulas I gave you as if they're always true, you didn't understand what I said, okay? So it's always the acute angle formed in that quadrant by the terminal side and the horizontal axis. So make sure you please keep that in mind when you do these, okay? So if, I, if we go back to that, I said it's always the formed by the terminal side and the horizontal in that quadrant. So that's going to be right here. And the and the reference angle is always positive. It's always positive. So here we have the 30 degrees. Let me just blow this angle up because I'm trying to draw it accurately for you, but now it's so hard to see it. So let me just sort of like blow it up over here so we can just see it better. Okay, so the reference angle is 30 degrees. We figured that out. We also need to know the plus and minuses for this quadrant. So the, cos the sine of theta in quadrant one is positive, the cosine of theta in quadrant one is positive, and the tangent is positive. They're all positive. So the original angle is equivalent to the reference angle as long as you include the correct sign change. And the sign change in this case is since you're in quadrant one, they're all positive. So again, I asked you to memorize the two triangles and the unit circle. It all goes back to those three tools. So I do have my triangle memorized. If I'm across from 30, I'm always a 1. 
If I'm across from 60, I'm always a radical 3. If I'm across from 90, I'm always a 2. Make sure you have the larger side across from the larger angle. Now, off of this reference angle, I'm now going to finish my answer. So the sine of 30 is opposite over hypotenuse. So 1 half. Cosine of 30 is radical 3 over 2. Tangent of 30, opposite over adjacent. Sorry, I'm a little squeezed here. This is fine with me. If you did happen to rationalize tangent of 30, you did a radical 3 to both sides, which then would have given you radical 3 over 3. Either form is correct. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. Reference angles are like really interesting that we can calculate this without a calculator. So I hope you're enjoying it. I'll catch you again soon in another video. Bye-bye.